Oh. Okay, so I found the paper again. So let's Yay. start it again. So that was merch. So after that, let's go into crowd. So to start off, for me, the crowd, I'm gonna give it a scale of, so actually crowd, if we broke it down into cosplayers and attendees. So this rating is going to be for cosplayers. Uh, one being the, you know, just okay cosplayers, you know, not too many, uh, I guess this is cosplayer as in like craftsmanship. And then five being like craftsmanship. Like if you're judging a masquerade, like mm -hmm. what was the type of Did you see anything quality? that was like, whoa, that's super cool. Like I never thought I'd like, like a giant robot or something like super articulate or like not, not too, like yeah. super detailed. So for me, there was a lot of people there. I saw some really good armor and actually I saw a lot of good armor. I saw a lot of good dresses too. So. Truly, yeah, there were a lot of nice dresses. Yeah. Actually, it's, I, I'd say a five. Really? I'd say a five. Damn, this is a high scoring convention right now. It is a five. You How much do they have, pay you to give these ratings? Check out the vlog <laughs> and you guys can have your, that's you guys true, that's can true. check out your, you can give your own pin, but I give it a five for the cosplayers. Damn. And now the cosplayer, well, I have to, wait, why me? Cosplayer goes first. Okay. Cosplayer wise, I think. Oh, wait, sorry, what? can I add something? Yeah, Also, please. it was a five this is show. because <laughs> Shut. Okay, no, he can't, add, he can't add anything anymore. You're done. Okay, anyways, so Is this I think I think because like Katsukon's the first big con of the year for a lot of people in North America, so I think people are just like waiting to debut something because it's like the new year. It's their first costume, and then they have a lot of time during winter to make stuff because the con season's over. Like yeah, That's it's over around August, September, so they have a couple months to do big builds. So usually there's a lot of really, really high quality stuff. I've never seen the masquerade either, so I'm sure it's really cool. But the people walking around, like I aspire to do things like they do. And it's just literally people walking on the floor. I would give it, I think because there's a good mix of people, like people that just come to hang out and just being cosplay like casually, just see their friends. I'd probably give it a solid four. Solid four. Solid four. Mm. Mm. You took well, photos. You, yeah, you, you took, took photos. photos. So, like, well, you that took was photos. a quality. His hand's broken too, so like Lawrence is too jacked to, to like pick up, so I'll do it for him. Because hey. he has a weekend. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, and I was shooting with his hand too. Yeah. <laughs> Not doing other bad things. Yeah. Among other bad Among things. Among other bad <laughs> things. <laughs> I'll give it a 4.5. 4. Damn. Damn. Why? Everybody brings the A game to Katsukon. Everybody. Okay. Does. I heard that too. That's the general like like uh, slogan for Katsukon. Like people bring their A game for sure. I'm not kidding. It's yeah. for it's example, really impressive. many many of our friends do. Let's see, minimum two a day. Yeah, there's a lot of costume changing, so you probably will see the same person in like two in or two three different, different costumes two, throughout in the whole day. One day. Like, can hey, you remember day. me? It's like, yeah, but like, I don't recognize you because you changed two hours one. ago. It's like, yeah. one day you'll see two or three, same person doing two or three cosplays, and then the next day, same thing. The yeah. next day, same thing. Even Thursday, the day before, they'll do two. Yeah, yeah no. so busy at night. Yeah. So, Damn. yeah, everybody will go quality cosplays. Nuts. Quality cosplay. Okay. So, are you done? That's it. Okay. So from there, for, that was crowd cosplayer, the ratings. Let's go into uh, crowd attendees overall, like cosplayers, photographers, non, just everybody. Attendees. Yeah. Or the people. Well, is it good or bad ratings? Like yes. one to five um, <clears throat> for Four me. Y'all already know what you're going to give. Such a gift. I want to give. You well, know, it's, it's one of two things. Okay, I'm going to give it a five. Yeah, I guess I thought you were going to give it a five. No, and I'm going to explain why. Okay. Um, Five because first of all the cosplayers were phenomenal, um, and the photographers. There were a lot of photographers, and all of them are phenomenal. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, a certain few. Let's just say like RS cosplay photography is like probably the best photography. No, 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 no. <laughs> Check him out. Give him some love. Right no, 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 no. But definitely uh, lost dumpling. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow! Shout there, out. There's the, yeah. There's the plug-in right there for you. And then so photographers alone. Uh, that and then the crowd friendliness. I feel like everybody was really, really yeah. having a good time, so the vibe was just really positive. Yeah. I liked it a lot, so that's why I'm giving it a five. Well, maybe one or two volunteers were a bit. Okay, so what would you Great. give it then? What would you give it then? Yeah, give what it. would I give it then? Hmm. That's a good point. Overall, I would have give it like a good four. Four? Yeah. Solid. Like, cosplayers. Great. I know a lot of friends are my like photographer friends are my friends. Mm -hmm. They're great to chill with. Like everybody has their own little group, and they, for some reason, in one level, everybody takes a little <laughs> section. <laughs> yeah. And the only reason why it's 
could shouldn't be like it would have been higher is because some of the staff are at, are pretty much really Bad words. dickish. Yeah. <laughs> Dickish. Yeah, that's as so much as a good adjective. Gonna, yeah, it's uh, Peanuts. Peanuts. they're too uh, strict on the rules. Let's just say that but one person just like um, just had his lights out, just setting up his lights for a second. It's like, oh, sir, you know, I have that. Oh, I'm already saying that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. a lot of people, including me, found loopholes in their rules, so we just put it up because we actually four? need that's it. That's still pretty high. Well, Four's there are some high. staff where you're just standing there, just waiting. So, like, oh, sir, you're not allowed to be there just standing here yeah. like by accident an inch onto the a little area we're not allowed that's not okay. that's not breaking the rules it's just there's too many people yeah and people they'll just yell at you for no apparent reason for example that situation you had where the staff kept blowing a damn whistle and like shooing you away <laughs> in a <laughs> place <laughs> where technically you're allowed to because throughout the entire day everybody's there no yeah. one was complaining mm -hmm. And, and it was hailing reason, outside and he for just some reason, and to it's hailing snow. A staff member decides to whistle people for not uh, for go to go inside. I'm like, it's our own freedom to do yeah. whatever we want. To go outside if we want to stay outside. We want to I feel shoot. like the scale is going down. <laughs> yeah, the I was like, okay, okay so keep going. No, okay, there he goes. But. Everybody else, the people. Come on. Don't worry. Great. All right. great attendees, great to chill with, hang out with. Even at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's true. Check out the vlog, you'll know all about that. I feel like, I, I internally, I'm like, it, I feel like I should deduct some marks as well, but I don't think you can because the hotel policy is, you can't have your like nipples showing, you can't do this, you oh, can't that do that. One. But that's not really the con's fault. It's, it's, it's the Gaylord. It's the Gaylord, so I can't really take away the points for that. thing they're, they're wasn't just, Gaylord, is actually Katsu. No, it was Gaylord. No, it was Gaylord. I'm pretty sure it's all Gaylord. Pretty sure it was Katsu. I don't think. No, I don't. I don't think so. No, no it's, it's, it's pretty Gaylord. strict. Sure. Yeah, I have, the, I have the screenshot. So I feel like no, but that was if the they're told to do something, they're just like trying to uphold what the hotel is, so they can keep coming back, or else the hotel is gonna get mad and not want to have it anymore. Oh, man, but with, there is with that considered, I think like they said, you go downstairs at 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. It's like a party. Like, and if you walk up to any little group of people, they're like, yeah, come here, like, let's party. Yeah, no, oh, it? it's I should, really inviting. <laughs> Everyone's a little. I should weird. add. Someone set up a kotetsu in uh, in was the second Saturday floor night? on Saturday. Well, no, it was there the entire weekend. No. Everybody was just literally sitting there chilling, having fun, and dr like at night there was like drinking, but that's at night. But during the day, everybody's like having fun, chilling, eating snacks, talking. Yeah, it, it's really friends. welcoming. So like, you can honestly go up to anyone and just break the ice, and it's like you're you've been friends forever. So since the cosplay is really high. Even people not in cosplay are like, usually they're kind of wanting to be on the outside, just like looking at cosplayers and be like, oh, that's cool, nice picture. But they're, everyone's like involved with each other. It's just all the clicks kind of come together. I feel like honestly, like my experience, I would probably give it a five. Star. Oh, hey. it, it's, okay. it's probably oh, like for a really big size convention, it still has that feel where it's like, it's like a small convention it's feel. It's intimate. Even though it's like huge, it's, you'll make friends like everywhere. So it's Also, really cool. in my defense, because as a photographer, the only reason why I gave it a four... Hey, don't worry. Hey. ...is because of one and... Uh, is because of another reason. There are some people that just literally will bother you when you're shooting. Yes. Oh, like other literally? photographers? Yeah, other There's a photographers lot. that oh, don't that ask no. other no, people. Damn. <laughs> yeah, but that don't ask other people to shoot. Okay. Like literally, just will come up behind you, click like four, like five, six shots right next to your ear. Well, actually, let's make that another scale. Yeah, like there you go. photographers and photo shoot locations. Yeah. So like, I will add this to the overall crowd, I guess. Um, yeah, because like, I killed Lauren. Sorry. Well, we're gonna match this to the uh, photographer and photo shoot location. So, for me, I only shot one. I, I went to the photo shoot location, like the Gathering Final Fantasy Seven, on Friday. That's that's day one. <laughs> What was that? This guy literally oh, flew yeah. in and like didn't sleep and just got ready and crushed it. I'm gonna watch this in too. The I'm gonna yeah. watch this too. Um, so it's beautiful actually. The whole venue is it's it's gorgeous. Um, you know, photographers are great. I say just because um, this photography and location. Photography and location. Um, you can do a lot, right? You can play a yeah. lot with the location. So oh, I was 
from all the other cons, like I give it a five. Yeah, man, you really no, I give it like this five. con. Yeah, you check out the blog. I've again, seen this guy on his con reviews. Like I give it a like, three point five two. It was like, yo, these are consistent fives. It's, it's consistent five. Somebody one, had four, fun point five. here. It was good. It was a somebody consistent had five, fun. except for one four point five. Okay, jeez. Photo me? Talk. You're a photographer. Fine. You have, you have a lot to say. All right, keep it there. Oh, damn! <laughs> Gatsu Gun's one of the best cons to shoot. Let's just be honest. That's, there, no, that is true. literally everything you need That's for true. almost any everything, cosplay. Yeah. From fantasy, uh, ballroom, wedding dress, even wedding dress. That is dress. true, yeah. Um, even, like, even regular action Rocks. type. Rocks. Rock base. Yeah, the, the even Persona. Ocean. We even had shot somewhere with Persona 5, okay? And it still works perfectly fine, no matter what. You maybe want to move location A to location B, but like, it's yeah, all it's, a, the general it's all relatively within the, depending on the crowd, five, eight minute walk, max. Solid. Because there's a lot of people. I never use the elevators. Never <laughs> use the elevators. Especially during the day. Yeah, the, the locations on like honestly, I, I'll just leave it there because like you'll I don't like think. A six. Yeah, so like Lawrence is gonna run all the way over to like this <laughs> place over here. Because yeah, usually that, that's like, like, you, you guys know like when you go to a con, usually even if it's a big con, it's a lot of indoor stuff. There's not a lot to do outside, so you get that really crappy yellow lighting, the really bad like wall colors, and it's just like it's not a very pleasant place to shoot. And I think that's why a lot of people at other conventions don't book photographers as much because they know that. The it's quality of photos they're gonna get because of the background isn't gonna be good. Yeah. But like you said, Katsukon, there's like the beach outside, there's rocks, there's like this like weird like lake and fountain. Lake thingy. fountain. Yeah, there's like wall thingy. Yeah, wall thingies, doors, like gazebo. A gazebo. That like, famous gazebo. Bam. Granted there are a white lot White beds. Of, white beds, yo, these white sheets. <laughs> yeah, if you this buy the yellow though. This <laughs> yeah, but see you know, because this bed frame's not the same. There you go, see. <laughs> but oh. you know that when you go to Katsukon, even if it is really crowded like it is, there's so many locations that you can go to that you'll find a shot somewhere in that venue just and gotta make sure people are not in your shot yeah you gotta make sure people aren't in your shot unless it's a whole shot no one really cares but <laughs> even the the quality of photographers that come here like this is probably one of the conventions that photographers do the best at because so many people want a nice photographer here because obviously it's once a year and there's a lot of really good locations, so a lot of and photographers bring, bring their A games. A -games well. Yeah. So if the cosplayers bring their A game, we bring. Our yeah, A everybody brings their A game. Everybody. There's so no they, if you want quality pictures. photographers and photos, like this con is like probably the best yeah, of the year. And a lot there of go, people guys. tend to improve or whatever. Yeah. Like the so, last few years, I'll just say this. Weather wait, has wait, been. Wait, 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 hold on. Add that at the end. Okay. But the overall. Okay. Thing. Okay. Um, just so we can get move on with this, so that they can kind of follow us. So after that, that was um, crowd. That was photography, photo shoot, location. Let's go into uh, programs and autographs, and guests. So for me, I didn't do any of that stuff. Cause he needs to be a guest next year, Katsukon. No, so if you guys, so if you guys are watching, just make sure. Cause this he's guy like, gets really good panels, and he's no, like, guess. he like is a he's like of knowledge. <laughs> no, so he can't even say anything because he knows. Okay, so no, 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 okay. no. <laughs> this, guy was, now, this guy, yeah. guy was a guest. This guy was a guest. Okay, <laughs> With that being said, oh, here's many more. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give a rating because I didn't do Why? any of that stuff. Okay. I didn't do any of that stuff. So, is there a reason you didn't want to go to panels and stuff more? Like, what's the reason that you didn't feel that you needed to go to a panel or see a guest or do anything? Well, okay, so my opinion why I didn't go to um, a panel is because first of all, I, I usually find panels kind of boring. Mm. So that's just my opinion from previous experience going to cons. Uh, autographs, I don't really go for autographs. I, they're, they're kind of expensive. Yeah, in my yeah, opinion. yeah, yeah. Um, guest, it's like I'm freaking rooming with a guest <laughs> right here. So I was like, what? dude, uh, he's just being nice because there's people watching. I'm actually gross. No, he's just being super nice. <laughs> okay. and he's the but star then, of the show. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> but that's that. Um, yeah, that's why I don't go. So, Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, you got autographs. Yes, I did. Um, um I well, in scale wise, I'll give it a three. Three? Yeah. No, only wow. reason. Same thing as your reason panels. I don't care. Mm -hmm. um, I find them boring. Relatively, sometimes, maybe once in a while they're fun, but like other times they're, most of the time it's not really fun. Only thing I that's autograph related, I love Overwatch. That's just me. So. You got all of them signed, right? I got pretty much. Done now. Uh, no, I'm not bad. done. Oh, no, you're done. No, oh, never mind. I'm missing a, I'm missing a good half of the roster oh. still. Oh, okay. But um, 
it is something I just like. I just like, like meeting the voice actors that I that from a game I actually love and enjoy. So, like for example, met the voice actor for Symmetra, which is my main. Uh, there is Torborn that was there, and there is um, Lucio was there, but I already had his autograph from Anime when NYC. And so they got a lot of Overwatch people there. Yeah, they had like they got four the Overwatch voice actors, including Roadhog as well. Hey. I got them all, but the main issue is I'm too used to the Canadian side where we don't uh, get anyone in Anime North. <laughs> okay. I'm, or any other like pretty much smaller conventions in the Toronto Ontario area. Autographs don't cost money. Oh, they don't charge. It was yeah, it's they don't normally charge. free, except for Fan Expo, yeah, which Fanex is a different Fanex. story. Okay. Like Fan Expo used to don't charge money until for like the last what three years they start charging money for autographs. So it's good that Katsukon kind of yeah, has like Katsukon a mix of has, a bunch has the thing people. where well they only pay twenty bucks, which is not mm -hmm. that bad. Um, besides that, the per only, autograph. Yeah, for per autograph, it wasn't. No, that bad. It gets but expensive. like yeah. The, yeah, it gets expensive over time. Yeah, if you guys want this guy's autograph, you know <laughs> you gotta dish out the hundreds. Besides you know? that, there this is guy gets autographs on his books. The only Damn. other thing I actually <laughs> enjoyed in that con. In terms of programming and events, was the video game room? Oh, video Tokyo game Attack had a solid like arcade, a solid video game room with all these Japanese games. It's pretty good. And there a lot go. of fighting games. I'm just like. Yes. I think for me, like if the convention, I like like you said, like sometimes I feel like panels are boring. But if a really good guest goes that I really like, like like Phil. Yeah, if I go, I'd go see myself. No, <laughs> if if somebody it's like hi Phil, if somebody hi, I Phil. really admire. Like, whether it's like a Japanese voice actor, like someone that did something from my favorite anime, and they did a panel, like, I like some voice actors from Inuyasha, so obviously I go see their what panel. Thick? No, uh, Scott McNeil. Okay. But I guess it, it, every con is different, so it depends on who goes, and that will depend on what panels you go to and stuff. That's true. I'd rather spend my time, like, these guys, like, mingling with Wasn't people it, and uh, not uh, sitting Richard in a room. Cox in or something? Yes, yeah. he was. Yeah. Um, so, I guess. It's hard to judge too, I guess. Cause it it, I'd be like Lawrence, year. it changed every year, so I just stick it right in the middle. If there was something that I really want to go to, I would have went to, but... Um, Ignore everything and go. Yeah, it... it There's a thing you don't really, your name Yeah, up. you don't really go to KatsuCon, I feel, to, to just see go to the con. as many people and sit in panels. You go to see your friends mingle and make new friends instead of just... And, you know, doing like, that cosplay stuff. and yeah. shoot. Yeah. And, I, and I think well this is kind of, like, one-sided because photographers work with cosplayers and we are cosplayers so we kind of think on the same frequency but if you're not a cosplayer maybe you might it, it'll be different yeah that's true it and it's a very biased review it's yeah. a yeah, one -sized. Sized. Keep, that in, us. keep this in mind it's our opinion we, we blame mini lawrence on this rating <laughs> it is i would cosplay <laughs> after all <laughs> i would move it but he's too okay. smart his way <laughs> so that's gonna be um programs autographs and guests that's our review <clears throat> for that masquerade I didn't do the masquerade this year. I mean, I didn't do it for. This is my first cosplay, so I didn't do it at all. But um, so I'm not gonna give a rating. But I can't. I don't he didn't know. do it. My friend, she wanted to enter the masquerade, but I think at big conventions, I, maybe it's no, it's not. I was gonna say that it's hard to communicate because there's so many emails probably from people who are entering about Everybody. you know how to get information. But she had a few difficulties entering the masquerade. I've never seen it, so. I, really, I feel like I can't none really of us judge that either. Yeah. Well, you're, ex you're just gonna guess from her experience. I mean, I guess from her experience, like if you're entering it, like I, I feel like people who enter masquerades have like balls of steel, first of all, but also are very patient also, because they're sitting there for like 10 uh, hours waiting to like go on stage and stuff. From what I also heard, it's also a qualifier sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'll just put it I'll there. Just, I'll just lie him down there and okay. he can take a nap. Unknown. <laughs> there <we go>. Unknown. <laughs> Unknown. Unknown. Okay, so that's our opinion, Masquerade, we didn't do it, so yeah. we're not gonna give him I mean, mean if Lawrence it. entered, then I'd definitely go. Oh, I, then it's, yo, then it's like a five out of No, it's gonna be a five <laughs> out of five. Sure. Okay, but like if you guys did go, let us know in the comments yeah. below what you guys thought of it. And your review of it. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna move on to the convention center. So it was the Gaylord um, Hotel Center. The, the How many people venue. giggled when he said that name? <laughs> I, yeah, I, <laughs> so I was I'm trying lame, to make sure. Never mind. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> no, so, yeah, we're going to give a review on that. So we're going to break that down to location. So the Ooh, location for the Gaylor Hotel. The like, okay, you guys just watch the vlog. Like, walking in, actually just driving down that one pathway where you see the Ferris wheel, it's like, it's like I would give it a six if I could. Dang. I'm going to give it like 
on the edge of the five. Wow, so you can There's actually see the whole number five right now. Yeah, he's on wow. the edge of the five. That's how, that's my rating. Damn. Five. Yeah. Five right there. Right there. Yeah, like even, usually at cons, like the ones that we have in, in Canada, sometimes they're in the middle of nowhere. Oh god, don't so get me started. So we have some that like, the closest things around there are like, uh, like a convenience one, like a Tim Hortons, and like, you have to eat like <laughs> fast For food. For those people in the States that watches it and doesn't know what a Tim Hortons is, think some of it as stuff. a Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, so it's, you can't really okay. find too much to do around the area, so here it's kind of like its own mini city. So it's not just restaurant, like you can walk down the street and there's like a ton of restaurants. You can go shopping, there's CBS. Like CBS. Oh my gosh. That, like you guys need water at cons, then it's not that far to bring it back. This guy like lugged a whole case. Actually, you went home. The, they the both lugged wrist. a full case of water back and didn't die, so that's pretty close. With an injured wrist. <laughs> Location's like really good. And like you said, there's like some big ass Ferris Location. wheel and it's pretty cool. It's just really aesthetic to look at. And also there's like a little, there's like, what is it, a lake or a river? Yeah, it's like, like a nice beach. A harbor, harbor. harbor. A harbor front just... It, it's really like pretty. A five and, minute walk from the hotel. Yeah, yeah. I and have it on the vlog. Yeah. You guys check to check it out. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Unless you're like this guy and, and go to Dola's. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, hey, it's, it's really good. Long, <laughs> it's really good. Yo, just you'll see that just in the vlog. Let too. you guys know if you're landing in for Katsukan, go to Regan, not Dulls. Because so this guy told me the opposite minute. Drive. This guy trolled From me. From Dulles to <gasps> that, actually, I didn't actual know. Hotel. You like go to No, Dulles. he asked me which one it was. I'm like, yeah, that's an airport. No, I did. I told you the right one. You're just like, I? I said, there's Regan's Ronald Reagan's closer. Drive. I said Ronald Reagan's closer. Yo, I asked, and you're like, you're like, no, don't no, go no, to no, that no. one. I, I asked somebody which one's closer, so I, they must have misinformed me because I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time. I, I, no, that's me. I, but again, so that's the you're so, that you don't know. So yeah, we're we're hopping. We're like both like not. We don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But. And now we're that's both a learning that, that, That's what happens when we try and help each other. We yeah. miss our flights and end up here. And then we do con reviews for and you guys. We do con reviews for you guys. <laughs> You're so, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> for the people who missed their flights. Yeah. Or got their okay. flight canceled. So that so location was like five across yeah. the board. Yeah, weather really wise was uh, wonky. Okay. So from there, let's go into convention center crowd to size ratio. Oi, so, oi, oi. To uh, me, like, Katsukan was huge. Um, crowd to size ratio, it damn. varies. It's gonna vary, but I'm gonna try to. Is it like it a up. damn ratio? <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I want to say it's kind of. Is this like, like good? Like okay, like, like five being like great. Five is like, okay. The best. How about we just ratio. put it as five as comic kit from Japan size versus one as a regular con? One being like a like a tiny little con. Yeah. Um, like no lucky. No, I'm kidding. No. Um, I'm joking, but. <laughs> Let's say, I would say maybe like. Whew, actually, this is hard. I don't know. No, that, it, it, depends it depends where you are. Yeah, it depends on where you are. Where. So, or which con you've been, technically. Okay, so day one, day two, like Friday and Saturday, I would give it like a four and a half because there wasn't that many people and where we were hanging, like we were hung, we hung around the, the gazebo and the fountain and all that you stuff. You were yeah, like yeah. near the side yeah. of that floor. You guys had that- On the gazebo level floor. So there. that's yeah. like a four and five. And like even the nightlife was, I think the crowd, like nobody was too crowded. Yeah. yeah. But, but on <laughs> yeah. Sunday, the last day, man, oh gosh. If you went to I'm the artist alley, you'd go like busy. two and a half. It's so, Disgusting. so Disgusting. crowded, like you, D don't even want to go into that yeah. room. And there's like this one hallway that you have to take from the gazebo side to the convention side. There's that hallway like was so congested. Three. It was just because there's like there's a side market on the side. I've never even been down that hallway. There's so technically three. three. You have it in your vlog? Yeah, I do. Okay, it's yeah, just I, so so congested. Gross. So so Sunday, um, it's gonna be two and a half. Yeah, but yeah, every yeah. other day, it's pretty solid. It's gonna be like four and a half. That's so. pretty good. So wait. So the higher. So the average we guess would be like a three. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So the higher it is, the more congested, or no, the, the higher the, is like the most. The best is, yeah, ratio. Like, best ratio of Congo. Yeah. So like place. you're not no, dying no, no. with, like size to con. Like, did you feel like congested? Yeah. Too congested? Like size. I've been to worse in terms of congestion okay, in cons. Then. So um. I'll five is like the, most like, congested. Five is most. No, congested. five is like really good. Like, oh, five is really, yeah yeah. yeah. So really that good. ratio is like yeah yeah. One is like hella congested. Yeah. And I would say three. I could still get around, no problem. Saturday is like the worst day. So it's, it's constantly crowded. But like the other days are, you can still get around, no problem. There is, there are times where people will get in your way. There are like, say you're taking a picture and someone's gonna hit you in the head with their backpacks. 
It might. It will happen. Or step on you. Or you poke someone in your eye with your like spiky. Stuff. Yeah, some oh, people even happened. bumped into other people. Sorry, broke, if that was one of you. <laughs> people's cosplays because of that, because Real, they brushed into us something. Uh, the only reason why I give it that number, I've been to cons that relatively ha have an attendance of over half a million. So yeah. there is no, there, like, no nothing beats move. that um, okay. in terms of congestion. But uh, it still gets pretty crowded over time, no matter what. And it's growing. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not kidding. It, every year, the crowds increase. Almost and every con. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, increase like crazy. And even back then, even, like, what, last year, no one stayed out more than like 2 a.m. Yeah, people they, didn't sleep this yeah, year. This year, everyone was still up at 3 yeah. in the morning. That was one of them. Yeah. And, and, like, everyone was still up in the gazebo area at 3 a.m. Either shooting, drinking, partying, raving, all on the same floor. I think for Which me was it was pretty um, nuts. I'd probably give it 3.5. I, I, I think I would have scored it worse if I had a costume that was either more delicate or like bigger. So like those people with the, like the huge armors, I don't know how they I walk through luck. crowds. Yeah, because they're definitely going to get knocked around. So if you have like big costumes that you bring there, it's, it's nice, but yeah, you're, you're probably going to get it damaged a bit. I would suggest have your friends be your handlers. Yeah. Just because like, all right guys, giant armor coming through, move out the damn way. Yeah. Or, like, I didn't have any issues and I don't, th I'm, you didn't have too many issues. And like, if you're a photographer, Bakuyo was Note of warning. It's all right. Okay. Do like, not bring a lot of gear. <laughs> Unless you're planning to shoot knights, do not bring a ton of gear because it is, yeah, have fun trying to maneuver. Yeah, it, it was a little hard sometimes to get through people because like crowds always go like one way. For some it's reason like it goes like one way so and it doesn't go the other if way. If you go against a crowd trying to go somewhere, you're, you're probably not going to make it very far without losing a piece of your costume. So it, it's, I like, I like crowdedness because I just like when there's more people. Yeah, I, I really like it. I don't know why, even if I have something that's really like clunky, I'd want to be in the middle of everything. So I, I like it, but I know a lot of people don't. So like you said, it depends where you're on the convention. Some places are really empty. You go outside, it's pretty empty, but some places you're gonna get mobs. So yeah. it's all relative to where you are. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you can pick and choose, like there's a good place. You can sit down too, so that's really nice. Yeah. Um, so that was the crowd to size uh, ratio for the convention center. Uh, we're gonna go into parking. So parking, I didn't What's park. That? Yeah, I didn't park <laughs> at all because I'm from California, so this is like on the other side of the country. So, but but like, what we Ubered when whenever we went anywhere. Um, well, it depends on what time because Uber yeah. normally costs. It depends. The yeah, area is but the parking for sure. Um, your friend Eric, yeah, he came in. He visit. Uh, there's I gave the tip in the vlog. There's a parking structure on the other side, just right across the street. Yeah. Really That's five dollars for every two hours. But if you didn't know that, you would park in the Gaylord, which is twelve dollars per hour. That is expensive. That's that's Unless like you get the such a rip off. All day parking for twenty three dollars. Yeah. At the Gaylord? No, at the convention offers oh, okay, okay. Uh, parking. So like you can park at a section for twenty three. Like, oh, right. If bucks. you have a room there, though, yeah. right? No, if you have a pass. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, hmm. for us, it'll, it'll never matter because yeah, because we, we don't drive. live drive. we don't live drive. here at all. But if you do, this is like an opinion for you. And if you did park, this is like a secret parking spot. Yeah, give us uh, your two cent on the comments down below. So with that we'll move our, we'll move past parking. Let's go into like food. A. So food a. Uh, this is hard because it's it, so. Is it wait wait? So is it food in the convention or is it is food it that food? you can get around? I'd say for like because technically the last few days we kind of kind of like went far away. Um, food. Let me turn off my phone. And there goes your phone. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry guys, my phone was going off. <clears throat> I guess food within a reasonable well, so area. Kogia we'll isn't uh... within a within a half hour radius. So, you know, so honestly, think of this, right outside the convention center, like there's that strip. Yeah. Where you can go to like you can go to like what's that one place called? Which one? Chipotle? It's like chicken. No, no, no it has chicken. It's really it's well known. It's like sucking ass. McDonald's. No, McDonald's is far. That's what uh, upset me. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it was kind of like... There's no McDonald's around It's kind of like it's a walk, and then it's like... Which gas off the is, is it fast food? No, it's not fast food. It's, it's pretty well known. I forgot the name. It was in, it's in the vlog. It's going to bug me now it. if you don't tell me what it's it is. It's not Succotash, is it? No, no. Um, Popeyes? 
No, oh, no, no. I don't know. It's pretty okay. fun, though. Okay, Public actually, house. food, because it delivers, we have Papa John's. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. gonna give it, like, for well, we convenience. Were... There's actually restaurants inside the, the convention as Do well. Do not go in those. And if Dick's I didn't, expensive. I didn't go to it, but the Papa John's, ex minus the guy yeah. like, oh. tricking us, yeah, yeah. didn't know where we. Yeah, I'm gonna give it like a maybe like a three and a half. Oh, okay, so he there was, we go. He was like happy, like a little boy, and now he's yeah. gotta go back to the real world. And, and he just and ate Papa John's. His, <laughs> his lettuce and, and tilapia. It's, it's only when I'm in California. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So like anywhere else, this guy's gonna break his diet. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's Especially when I'm with this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna make him fat. Like I had ice cream today. And I was like, that was thinking Phil, like, man, I may feel so and proud. I, I got, I got ice cream. And then when so he's with like, me, he breaks his bros. diet because I bring him to all other food places. I break my diet too, like Lawrence, but I break it every day. So. Yeah, because <laughs> oh, I, I break it every day because I'm bringing you to other good food. Places. Oh yeah, but three point five. That's a good review. Oh no, there goes a lift. There goes a chart. Oh wait, what? what's your guys? Opinion? Okay, honestly, for honest, me, yeah. I've been going there for the last three years. For food? Yeah, for food. Uh, I would say four. Solid four. Solid four. Um. First and foremost, there's a Chipotle. You can't go wrong with Chipotle. <laughs> it's it's not that honest. expensive. It's and like it's what five minute walk away. There's yeah. a Starbucks that's in another hotel. Starbucks. I need my hotel coffee. There's the Starbucks in South. Yeah. There's a restaurant there called Succotash. I went there for my first year. I went to Katsugan. Oh my god, that restaurant's good. It's good. It's oh, yeah, not. The it's relative. It's a reasonable price restaurant. It's like chicken waffles, but their uh, cornbread is. Phenomenal. Hmm. Like I love that. So you place. got options. Yeah, public house, regular bistro place. Uh, there are a few bars yeah. along with like a few other places to eat. Still good, reasonable price. Hmm. Maybe a bit. Some of them a bit overpriced. Uh, other joints would be like for breakfast options. You could stay in the hotel, go to CVS, buy yourself cereal and milk. That works too. Or uh, there's don't eat. Uh, there's a cafe or, or, don't, or don't eat breakfast. Or, yeah, or don't eat. Or don't eat Just breakfast eat your one meal a day. Your, starve yeah. yourself all day. Yeah. Who's done uh, that? Uh, me. Yeah. Uh, like and then there's a, there's a National Harbor Cafe, which is like opens at 6 that. in the morning. You could start eating your breakfast there for like, what, 7 Dang, bucks? You, you know your stuff, huh? Shoot. I think that the Cause cause I quality explore. of food, mm -hmm. like, not necessarily in that little city, but like if you Perfect. go a little bit out of the city, there's like a lot of good spots. Cool, and I guess yeah. we have, yeah, we have friends that live here, so they are, they know like the good spots too. But you want there's, good Korean food, Kogi. There's a lot of really good restaurants around as well, and uh, that's one big thing about cons, like especially where we are too. There's no good food around the convention areas. There's like all the fast Unless food. Unless you're in Fan Expo, which was in a hard. I guess, but downtown still, Toronto. yeah, it's. It, yeah, that, a lot of that's a different that. story. But usually the, the options are really bad. So here you have a lot, whether you want to order in or whether you want to just walk down the street. Or if you go a little bit outside of that little area, you can find a whole bunch of other stuff. I'd probably give it... Uh, honestly, I don't really care about food. As long as there's a lot and I get full, then I'm happy. I can eat like 50 and also, McNuggets and it'd be the same a, as eating a $100 steak. Here's a Yay. small tip as well. I, I, I add give this. it 3.5 too. I should add okay. this as well. Just because the only, uh, also another reason why I gave it a four was what happened yesterday, where me and my friends were just like about to go eat, and then this pizza guy came in front of us saying, "Yo, you want to buy this guy's order for twenty bucks?" It was a good order. It was a good order. It was like a large cheese pepperoni pizza, a bunch of bread with uh, like garlic pretzels and uh, I didn't see any two of full yeah, pastas. It was, it was and you know why? It's because uh, lucky cat. That's oh my god. And, that's why and this spicy bread thing. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. 20 bucks. And we're like, hell yes. Yeah. We yeah. just bought it for 20 bucks, went to the hotel room, and ate it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was food. Um, I don't think it was an issue. 3.5. Food is not an issue. Man. I mean, compared to what these guys are talking about, I, I guess food is not. Food bring is accessible. Money, though. Yeah, bring food's money, accessible. Though. It's accessible, but some of it's not cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Don't expect it. Con, con food, basically con food. Put it that way. So let's go with nightlife. So nightlife. Okay, you just take. You just take the it nightlife. Away, okay. Go. Just, just go. Just let's go, do this. Dude. Um, I'd say yeah, it is go. like a five and a half. Damn. If I could. Five but it's a five. Half, because um, I went to ALA. I thought it was a lit. I went to this. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy I watched his vlog. He's like, ALA. Yeah, Everything it is okay. so <laughs> lit and it's super safe because you're inside the Gaylord Hotel. Like you're not even you you don't even walk the streets. I mean you can if you want to. But Some people want. <laughs> yeah, you can if you want to. But everything that happens is in the gazebo. You guys watch the vlog. You'll see gazebo it all. Level. Um, ALA was like you can 
the, it was nice that hotels were around, and but you still have to walk the yeah, streets. Yeah, yeah. So everyone this kind of place, yeah, yeah here everyone is just like hanging out at one big spot, and it's like chilling. Yeah, conditioned. The air is air conditioned, um, or heated, depending on heated. Where you are. Exactly. Um, that's why I give it a five. Everybody was friendly. Yeah, you went to like the club. You went to like. The oh yeah, there's, like a, there's a club. On, there's like pose club that's yeah. on like rooftop. Um, that's okay. The drinks are like, kind of expensive for me, yeah. but well, it's a hotel. Yeah, but, but like, the whole cosplay crowd is there too. Right? Oh, cosplay so crowds are like cosplay. definitely, okay. definitely check it yeah, out. If cool. you, there's if other you ones gone. there too. Yeah. And what? There's other the other cosplay crowd went to like the MGM club. Oh, oh and the casinos around there. But the MGM is kind of yeah. it's it is the MGM. Far. You can't walk. You have to take there's an Uber. Yeah, yeah, too. Even though they're they're like oh it's right across. It is right across if you take it if you take a car. Or you got like really long legs. Yeah, you just leap. No. Yeah, don't. So, but if you don't, you can perfect. You can, you'll have a good time. Yeah. Even right Stand outside the gazebo, right down the lobby. I give it a five. Yeah. Who wants to take this? Oh, I, I give it a seven because like the beds are really comfy <laughs> and like, dude, the blankets are really nice. That's his nightlife. And then like you and know you wake up guy. at three a.m. because of people waking you up and like doing other stuff. What other stuff? I don't know. Why is he jumping around? I don't know. He's like, it's like depends <laughs> on the night, you know. Like oh, yeah? I wake up sometimes and can't fall asleep. Honestly though, I like. I used to go Prepare out not to sleep. I, yeah, I used to go like the I, this is my third year, so the first two years like I would go to like the room parties and go upstairs and like see who's there. I think like the the club and party thing isn't really my thing, but I do find it really fun still there and it's not like you're you're forced to go to to do something with people. It's kinda like you just wanna go to see everyone just and hang chill out. With yeah. Them. It's a very chill con even though there's a lot of parties. So even though I didn't really do too much partying, like my partying was like last kind of night. passing out. Yeah, last night was pretty good, and that was just our little room party. Yeah. But um, honestly, I, I'd probably, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably give it a five for the two years that I, I was there before. There was honestly like no sleep that happened, and it you, like you still feel really good the next day because you had so much fun. Yeah, the end of the night you feel like yeah, crap. Yeah, yeah, the end of the night you feel like crap, but you wake up you're like yeah, that happened. <laughs> so it, it's really good, like. There's always something to do, like no matter what time it is at night. There's always people around. Agreed. Yeah. Same. Cool. I'm not gonna move it. Yeah. Uh, one reason is like it's fun. Interact with new f people. Yep. People are still drinking at two, three in the morning. I think people and start drinking. Yeah. On, and the, on even on the gazebo floor, it's like that. Yeah. That and people even on uh, the day that con end, the con ended. Yeah, people were still up and about. People, yeah. I was still up and about too. I was like, uh, yeah, I was like, con's co over. You're like, I'm gonna go shoot. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna shoot. yeah con's okay. over. I'm shooting at 1 a.m. in the gazebo, <laughs> and uh, a lot more people were still there. People kept wandering around, talking around, having fun, putting speakers with like BTS on. Yeah, this is the con where even when it's over, there's still people that are staying like for another day or two in that hotel, and they're still downstairs like hanging out. So yeah. and also, prepare not to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So sleepy uh, room with Lawrence. Yeah. <coughs> oh shit. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Dropping some shade. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, we love him, but oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's all over YouTube now. <laughs> it's oh. all over YouTube, it's all done. Yeah. Don't okay. worry, we'll cut this out and post. Yeah. <laughs> uh no, I'll keep it raw. Keep all right. Oh all right. um yeah, no, I I, I snore. I, <laughs> I, I'm really bad. Are you coming out or no? No, I, no, I Confession snore. time so, with Lawrence. Then, but then I feel so honored because he's like, <laughs> I'm the only one that he'd be okay with. Yo, oh snoring. my god. I hate, I'm the lightest sleeper and I I cannot sleep when people snore, but like. Yeah, I, well, I have to I, kick I, him I, off the bed. I will, I will not sleep because because this guy's awesome. No, what? So. Only only you though. So I'm feel super, but I'm super Yo, considerate because I'm like, you go to sleep first. I'm gonna go party and then come back later. And I oh, is that deeper. why you did? Because yeah, you're gonna no, go party I after you fall asleep. I, no, like what if guy. I didn't fall asleep when you got? Well, back? that's your fault. Then your plans, <laughs> your plans yeah, messed but up. This guy is <laughs> poor planning sleep. right now. Instant sleep in this guy would night. say something and fall asleep like that and I'm like damn You just said you're hella tired. Damn. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but this guy just like like he's like a Dogs brick. No, he's no, a no. brick. Just cuz I go ham when I come to Yeah, that's true. So you're still a brick though <laughs> Okay, but then so that's basically our con review for Katsukan. So just to wrap things up Would you go again? Is that even a question? Is that even a question? <laughs> there you go. It's Yes. It's it's the first big con of the year and it's 
it's probably, like you said, the most like welcoming convention. I think a lot of new people, if that's your first con, it's going to give you that motivation and, and to work experience better. yeah, to want to improve and want to go to more stuff. Yeah, yeah. and uh, keep in mind, um, last couple, like last year and this year, we have freak weather. Like last year was super warm for some strange reason and everybody's outside. This year was half and half and next year, God knows. Yeah. Most likely it's going to go back to its cold, like winter like conditions where mm -hmm. no one can shoot outside. But these two years, people were shooting outside, no problem. It's beautiful. In whatever weather. And mm -hmm. if you're a new photographer, a new cosplayer, bring your A game. Don't think, uh, yeah, sure, you're new to the scene. But if you want to make high level quality cosplays, like try your best. Just try your best if yeah. you can. And for photographers who wants to And no pressure, just shoot. Just have fun. No, pressure, no pressure on it. Uh, don't for my tip would be if you're going to CosmoCon for the first time and this is your like your first con you want to like take photography seriously, do not charge for the first one. There's a lot of people at this con that actually charges for photo shoots. I myself do that. But I've been going for a few years. Other people don't charge. Just like just do it for free. Do haul shots. Get your name out there first. Because if you don't and you charge and your work isn't up to the price that you want to charge, people are not gonna book you. How do you, how do people book you? Just through Facebook. So then, how do you, how do you get that you exposure? Just post, like there's you gotta post. You gotta right. post. I know. That's how know. you get I'm it. The lazy one. Don't be like him and don't post when you got all this fire to post and you don't. Yeah, but I mean, thing. you got fire, I man. Friends. Okay. Yeah, it, he's so, got good stuff. I shoot with friends. But... Next year we need to plan. Uh, so if you guys are watching, so next year we'll make a Facebook group where we're all gonna cosplay Lawrence and we're gonna have like beanies what and leather jackets. <laughs> And then yeah, we're all we're gonna all get, just like we all are gonna have a group where we're gonna get shredded and we're gonna take a picture with all our shirts off. Oh damn, you guys look for 2018 that one. Yeah, he said it right here. He said it right <laughs> here. President of the Iowa Cosplay Fan. Leave a comment. Make so sure like, that he. I'm gonna leave a comment. Make sure that Phil gets shredded in 2019. I'm just bluffing. Okay, not totally <laughs> shredded. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching the con review. Love you guys. Leave us a comment down below. Make sure he gets shredded for 2019. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye.